on Mr. Zamir White. Listen, when it comes to Zamir White, this is a player I've been in on all offseason. And I've seen some takes on Twitter, like, good luck taking Zamir White. He's a plotter. Um, I don't care if he's a plotter. Josh Jacobs is borderline plotter in my eyes. And, you know, that that running back role with the Raiders, it is built for a plotter, right? Jacobs never excelled in yards per touch or yards per carry. He excelled on volume, and that's what I'm expecting out of Zamir White. Now, uh, July 30th, there was a report, Vincent Bonsignor of the Las Vegas Journal Review basically said Zamir White's entrenched as the RB1. That is his role. Now, if he struggles early, they can ultimately turn to Alexander Madison, but he would really have to struggle mightily. Now, last year with Josh Jacobs out, I think we saw Zamir White in about four games as a starter. Two of those games, he rushed for over 100 yards. And one of you said 4.3 yards per carry, uh, 15 receptions, 98 yards, only one touchdown. But Zamir White, what's interesting, when he did get a snap last year, he was 84th percentile in percentages of a snap with a touch. So he touched a ball on 52.7% of the snaps. That tells me that the Raiders believe in Zamir White enough, and that was last year without not without seeing a lot of him, to, hey, we can let uh, Josh Jacobs go and give Zamir White that high-volume role. And we know Josh Jacobs in this role. He was one of the top running backs in opportunity share, um, in, in, in and I believe in weighted opportunities as well. So, like, I, I, I'm going to chase volume here. Last year, we've seen this. Some people went after Alexander Madison. It did not work out. Some people went after Rashad White. That won them fantasy leagues. Zamir is one of those guys that we're going to take shots at, and it's either going to work or it's not going to work. But I am one of those who believes it will work. It has to work. Look at the Raiders quarterback room. It is not good. They're going to rely on running the football and playing dirty defense to win football games, which we saw down the stretch from the Pierce-led Raiders when Zamir White was, was playing. Right, because Josh Jacobs missed time at the end of the year, and that's where Zamir White shined weeks 15 to 18 with Jacobs sideline. At least 85 total yards in every game. Three of those games he went over 106 total yards. So I, I'm very much in on Zamir White at cost. And in, in, in three of those games in which he went over 100 total yards, he had at least 20 carries and at least 17 carries in all four of those games. They already showed us we believe this guy could be a workhorse for us. Steve, what says you? Uh, dirty defense by the Raiders was like Jack Tatum. Um, yeah. Uh, from Passaic, New Jersey. Uh, by the Phil, way. P Phil Piano was a Jersey guy too. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's 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 awesome. Two Jersey guys on the, the dirty defense of the Raiders. But as far as Zamir White, I think that Anthony really, he almost sold me a little bit on Zamir White. You know, who cares if he's a plotter? Who cares if he's not that talented? As long as he's getting the volume – um, you know, he's going to be productive regardless. And yeah, when I watched Samir White, I'm not totally impressed with him. I mean, we only saw like four or five games from him. I don't think he's anything special, but you know, who does he really have to fight off? Alexander Madison lost his job to Ty Chandler last year, uh, got shipped off. And then you have Dylan Laub, who, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of talking up a little bit. It's somebody maybe could be a little bit of a threat. You know, it's possible that Madison could earn a little bit of a role, but you know, maybe they just continue to feed Zamir right. And yeah, the, the quarterback situation isn't great there. Um, they got the two tight ends in the mix. You know, you got Devontae Adams, uh, you got Jacoby Myers. I mean, they're kind of set up to pass the ball, but they just, their quarterback capability isn't all the way there. So they're going to be a balanced offense regardless. They're going to run the football that they want to play strong, dirty ass defense, like Antonio Pierce wants to do what he did last year, successful coming in as an interim mm -hmm. head coach. So, yeah, I don't, I'm, I mean, I'm for me, I'm like, I like, it's just like, it's not a player that I target, but uh, like Anthony said, he's either going to be very, very good or very, very bad. Um, and, you know, he could be like that um, Rashad White pickup last year. All right. Let's get into another group of players, and then we'll see how much longer we want to go on with the 